And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Braum, the best deck in Legends of Runeterra, at least whenever I play against it. That's what it sure looks like. <laughs> I've had some uh, real troubles beating this deck. It seems like um, every time I play against it, it's like that they are uh, looking at all 40 cards in their deck and they get to pick and choose whatever cards are perfect for each situation and always have Scar Grounds, always have Braum and their deck just looks incredible. So we're going to try it out ourselves. We'll see if if like we can also have that kind of good fortune and if our deck does look incredible or not. Um, but you know, we'll be playing Brom Vladimir with Scar Grounds. A couple of big additions in the newest expansion, especially Ice Shard here, gives us the deal one to everything, which is perfect with Scar Grounds. Both Ice Shards and Death Lotus are amazing whenever you have Scar Grounds and you're attacking. And especially when you have units that are already tough from, from your Scar Grounds. Um, especially with cards like Scar Mother Verena, that whenever they survive damage, grant it plus three, plus zero. Um, but then also just, you know, like, because uh, whenever the ally survives damage, you grant it plus one, plus zero and tough. So if they already have tough, you play like those things that deal one damage to everything, then you're just pumping up your units and dealing damage to your opponent's units at the same time. We also got a, a really good one drop. That's something this deck never had before. Crimson Blood Letter is pretty amazing in this kind of deck. So that's a great one drop in there. So yeah, we're gonna uh, go ahead and, and try it out. We'll have the Bloodseeker at the top end. Lots of cards like from like the last two expansions really in here. Um, but all right, let's get, let's go to it. So Vladimir Brom, here we go. Hey puppy. Puppy wanted to see this deck in action. Puppy jumped up here. Yeah, you like Vladimir Brom, don't you? Big Vladimir Brom fan. Okay, awesome hand. We're going to keep it. I think Troll Chan is very good against um, Fiora and River Shaper and, like, all their combat tricks, everything. Like, we like this is going to be a combat-heavy matchup. And so having our best combat trick is very important. These woods protect their own. Mm, I'll pass. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I use use a list that uh, someone gave me here to play with this deck. Um, so I, I didn't build this list myself. Um, I think I think this list was from another streamer, uh, um, Red Lobster, or Fresh Lobster. Sorry, <laughs> not, not Red Lobster. Um, guess I'm taking him. I guess we're taking him. Where's our Scar Grounds? What Scar Grounds? Yeah, so the question, like, is Three Sisters better than the Unscarred Reaver? I would expect so. Um, I, you know, not 100% positive on that, but... I don't know if, like, it needs Unscarred Reaver, but... Um, I don't know, Three Sisters is just like a Swiss Army knife. They can do a little bit of everything. Braum. Let us get going. Braum allows us to keep both troll chants available. We swim within the flows of magic. Mm. Time for talking to. Good luck. Have fun. I wonder if I just attack with all this stuff also. I guess kinda of why not? When I got two troll chants. No closer. My life for these lands. So Worst case scenario is like repost on Shen, and then that grows that to be a 5 2, but still a troll chant is just fine in that situation. Shield up. <laughs> I'll stop you. No closer. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save Troll Chant. Troll Chant's still super valuable. That's just a two drop. You know, like we just traded two drop for two drop. Not that big a deal. Nature blesses her followers. And good thing we saved it. Enforced equilibrium. Nature blesses her followers. 
I'm thinking about flash freezing. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Things just gonna get larger the next time. You are safe with Thrall. Hold on to the flash freeze. So I go. Engulf them. You're in over your head. So I only have two combat spells available. Intruders. Maybe I shouldn't have cast that troll chant last turn. I should have taken the three. I mean, I, I think they have repost. I don't, I don't think we really be, and like even with barriers. Like I, I don't think like we'd be able to kill Shen. I don't think like Fury the North, one of our things, and block Shen is a good option. Yeah, like they have repost. The balance has been maintained. Nature blesses her followers. Pass turn? No. Hmm. That's too bad. Could have flash freeze the Shen as well. I guess I should have done that. I guess I was a little greedy trying to level up Braum and let have Braum survive damage and everything like that. favors you. Looks like we're... So maybe it was good that we saved that flash freeze. War teaches us all. Okay. We're going to block here and here. So I don't know if I can continue to have this Tarkaz deal one to my stuff, even though like the Tarkaz and Scar Mother is pretty good. Maybe I should have just blocked at the four two. Get to draw another card. A gift from the river folk. So I know I could have troll chanted and saved my thing, but oh, Scar Mother is just so awkward. I didn't get to play it last turn. I don't get to. I mean, I guess I. Yeah, I guess we play it over Braum. Just one less, you know, one more mana either last turn just to play it, or you know, this turn to be able to play Braum also. Strike, we will reform. Right, what do they got? 
Because we know it's like all spells over there. Important making that river shaper zero health so they don't get to draw a card. River shape the land and give it life. How can well, they say the game, but the they draw a spell. Do they just have Mystic Shot suddenly in their deck? Not likely, without Piltover and Zaun. All right, super close game. We did, we drew pretty well. We had, we drew all three Troll Chants. We drew bo both of our um, Flash Freezes with the three sisters. Um, so you know, like those are like our our five best combat spells, and we drew all five. So we got pretty lucky. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This this deck is just. It just not just doesn't lose. I haven't tried Chen and Shreemo with Renekton, but there could be some good stuff there. Ooh, we got the Scar Grounds. Let's look for more units. Wow. Scar, Gr Scar Grounds, Braum, and Vladimir. Now we're just going to draw Troll Chant. And we'll be on our way. Because like, I don't really want to play the Crimson Disciple first before Scar Grounds. Right? I mean, this would mean we would attack for like five. Like, this is a real good attack if I play Crimson Disciple first. So I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. All right. Rewarded. We have our two spell mana for Troll Chant. Rewarded. And now, you know, like we have the um, Blood Letter Braum combo. So just completely rewarded for waiting. Because that's busted. Red card, come on. Eyes open. Why aren't they red card? I feel like that should have been a red card. We missed one dam where did we miss one damage? Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Oh yeah, my, my opponent missed one damage. That's yeah, never mind, yeah, that's right. Yeah, my opponent did miss one damage by not red carding. Yeah, they're they're gonna regret missing that one damage. I tell ya. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the blood letter is a bug, how it's it's only supposed to deal the damage to the Braum and not the I'm pretty sure that's a bug. They're really trying to level up this Twisted Fate. It'll be damaged, so we're gonna scorch her with it. Let me 
show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. Yeah, it looks looks like they're holding up Bastion. Which I guess that's the case I have Troll Chan. Dude, this deck is unbeatable. I'm telling y'all. Unbeatable. Cannot be defeated. 2 0. We got some Shadow Isles. Shadow Isles can kill stuff. I'm gonna send this all back. I'm gonna look for, there we go, Scar Grounds and other stuff. Um, so, Nasus, this could go you know, a couple of ways. This could be a more controlly type deck or it could be a very aggressive deck. So, uh, if it's the very aggressive deck, Death Lotus can be good against like Blighted Caretakers and stuff like that. Curse Keepas. Hmm. I'll try anyone you want. Oh, yes. We just had our Crimson Disciple kind of dance around the Scar Grounds. So Death Lotus or Brom. How can Brom help? Brom. This is me going to nine, but I have Brom. And Brom doesn't really lose. So I'll have two spells on their attack next turn. Alright, so this clears their board. And I only lose my 3-3 three, three Mighty Poro. That's scary. That that's definitely how we could lose if they have a whole bunch of doombies. We didn't see if if that was the card. I think that might have been a card that they stalking shadows. That would be scary. That's not as scary. Two, four. Okay, so I can play this. I guess I can't. So I can't triple spell. I can't play Death Lotus and Three Sisters and. Any of these, so I just pass for now. Well, I guess I, I probably just won't need Death Lotus. Or if I do, I probably won't need Death Lotus. If I do, then I probably don't need Three Sisters. Okay. I like seeing that more. I guess I just flash freeze that. Can let it happen and scorch her that. Maybe I just let it happen, scorched earth. No, because then that that's me taking damage. I can't I can't just let it happen, scorched earth. Uh, what about Fury of the North? This would be five, 
Seven. For a Fury of the North. That's Fury doesn't sound bad. Does that sound better than Flash Freeze? Probably. And then if they decide not to attack, I can kill that with Scorched Earth now. Seven mana. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Tell me what fate awaits the Bakai. Eternity is uncertain, but fate is mutable. I for talking. Have you met my shield? So wait, this is going to be... This is three right now, so then four... Four, five... Why does this thing go to six, six? Oh, because it gets plus one, plus one for slain stuff. So, like, we'll slay this thing, so we'll get plus one, plus one for that. But if I play this, then we they don't slay. They don't get the plus one, plus one. That kills that. Alright, that looks good. Doesn't mean I don't have that on... Defense against a potential super go wide attack. Every scar a lesson. War teaches us all. Learn from that. War teaches us all. So many triggers. Every scar a lesson. All right, they end up at five. Rom's only at eight. Yeah, this. I guess I can't. I can't really stop atrocity, can I? Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? If that's the plan, atrocity. I can't stop that. Come on, flash freeze. No atrocity. Yep, that was their plan. Hooray. This deck can't lose. Braum is unbeatable. Literally. Unbeatable. Wow. Look at all those champion mastery things. Somebody plays a lot of Zoe Aphelios. I mean, they are the two best champions. He's like the best regions for them, so they probably know what they're doing. Yeah, they probably know what they're doing over there. Um, I sure it's good against Zoe, but it's not. You know, like let's get rid of this too. We need we need our champions and scar grounds, right? Well, there's the out of the three cards I named. That's the least impactful of the three to start with, but at least it's one of them. Good card. Scar Grounds, where are you? The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Let's show cards are fun. So I do this, then attack for six. 
Yeah, I'm in there. They better not have gotten a zero mana. Yeah, glad they didn't get like a zero mana celestial card also. Okay, so I can play Vladimir. Or Bloodletter plus Crimson Disciple. Hello, I'm fine here. The warrior, deliberate and ruthless. Wow. That was pretty ruthless. So the Mountain Scryer was just a 3-4 that also brought along something that killed my Vladimir. This is a this is a pretty big test for us. Their hand has been awesome. But they haven't played either champion. But besides that, it's been awesome. I challenged over there, of course, because of Pale Cascade. I don't want to challenge you know, I want to challenge something where the Braum wouldn't die if they had Pale Cascade. I want to play the Bloodseeker. All these Celestial cards, they can just be so many different cards they can have in hand. It's its just impossible to play around everything. You know, like this play isn't really that good against Vengeance. Or if they have just the nine mana Obliterate two, they play afterwards. This is this is fun, Riot. It's fun. No, I want to avalanche away their blockers first. If I, if I attack before block, you know, like they just easily block with like those other things if I attack before avalanche. What once was two now is one. Siblings once were inseparable. I guess I go on the overwhelm thing. I guess this is how our deck can lose. You know, 3 mana 5-5 five, five Challenger. 7 mana 13-8 Elusive Spell Shield. With Fury, if that ever matters. 5 mana 4-3 four, four, Lifesteal and 4-3 Elusive. You know, they had a, a 1 mana permanently silence your 4 drop so your other stuff doesn't get larger. I guess that's how our deck can lose. Let me show you what I can 
Another one mana permanent silence. Might as well just have atrocity also. Oh no, just more healing. A five and more busted celestial cards. So I mean they they have just a you know really powerful celestial card, so if they if it's you know like the nine mana one or we're pretty dead, but gotta play this. Just going to nineteen. Seven, eight, nine. I can't even kill this fifteen ten. I came to fight. I can do nine damage to this Great Beyond with either of these two cards. If we do nine damage to the Great Beyond, then maybe oh yeah, no, they just had atrocity the whole time. All right, so I guess it is possible for Vladimir Brom to lose. All right, back to the land of fair cards. Away from Targon, we got Demacia Sharima. I like this hand. It's a good one. Death Lotus should be very good against the Sand Soldiers. I always like seeing Brom. And Crimson Curator can play some good defense. Withdrawing the Avalanche, decide not to start with Blood Letter quite yet. about Shapestone, given the plus three, plus one. I am a little worried about that. All right, prediction. Sorry, I didn't start the prediction earlier. I guess that's just a bad block with the Braum, because if they have Shape Stone, that still would have killed the Braum anyway, so I should have just blocked the, the three power. I was worried about that 3 out of 4 Lucian, but now I don't have that Death Lotus on defense or that Ice Shard, so I don't love how this game has played out for me so far. My shield is yours. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Yeah, yeah, y'all are probably right. We're probably still in, in a good spot with having all these bodies, because they can only go 6 wide, and we can go 6 wide as well. Soldiers, to me! Behold, my glory. 
And they haven't shown Shapestone yet. Well, that's not good. I do have a backup Braum. That curator is kind of getting in the way. I'll save some life. Don't hold back. Right, free attack. Right, free attack. I forgot, I just forgot that that was the whole free attack thing and they were going to be able to attack again. Obviously, I wish I didn't do that and then just would have had that to block the Cythria. Now, that, yeah, I just kind of forgot about that. I assume you've come for me. Oh. Fine, fine. Yeah, the three one, you know, I saved, what, two life by blocking with it or three life. Three life, I guess, by blocking with it, and I could have saved six. I could have saved. I could be at thirteen. It's a lot easier when we have scar grounds. Such a beating. Not the face. Such a pretty thing. Uh, left for a snack? Stand behind bro. Stay safe, my friend. Rom just can't block fearsome. It's a problem. Destiny calls. The Scythria has completely destroyed me. Cythria completely destroyed me. This one's mine. Fine. Fine. So which one which one of these two? I mean if they have if they have a rally effect I lose anyway. I guess if I block here and they have a rally effect, I can stay alive. Yeah, but oh, but they would make another arise. Well, no, no, because they'd use their mana on the rally effect. But so they they would only have like Cythria and one other attacker. Because I pl I play a blocker here, they play rally, and then I play another blocker, right? So I can still play two blockers this turn. So I can still stay alive. But like if it's if it's a a Zier, I do not stay alive. I die. George Michaels over here. Stand strong. Remember. 
Ugh. I was really hoping they were going to play something else smaller and then I was going to avalanche and, and kill this, and, you know, this thing and the smaller thing. But obviously that didn't work out. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy. Yeah, obviously that, that whole thing just didn't work out. I guess I should have just only attacked with the Vladimir and nothing else. So yeah, obviously hindsight, yeah, that, that attack didn't work. No. Our proudest days remain ahead. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. Oh, the butchery we'd commit together. They're still just game over anyway, they just stack with things because of the other Inspiring Marshal with the plus two plus zero. It wasn't just one thing. yeah, obviously that, that attack with the Vladimir didn't work out, that, that was a bad decision. A, a lot of decisions I made in that game ended up backfiring, right? Like I took like the extra damage on that one block, um, I didn't save Ice Shard or, and, you know, but I guess like they didn't, they didn't, or like with having the Sith, like the Sithria just dominate that game, just so many, it was... It was a bunch of decisions that ended up really uh, biting me in that game. It wasn't any one, like, it wasn't just one decision. If I do it differently, we win. Um, yeah, I, I think I just didn't really take that deck serious enough, or just I thought that we had that game kind of like the whole whole time, and, you know, kind of until that Scythria. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was once we killed the Lucian. Yeah, like, I thought we were fine, but, um, yeah, that was just really impressive over and over for their deck i didn't have like a scar grounds to bail me out um really like the the cataclysm free attack on my braum is like where it that that's whenever it, it completely turned but um yeah underestimated their deck for sure um i think i i i think i had the tools to win the game but it, it wasn't just like one single decision it was a it was a bunch of decisions of you know with me underestimating them okay but uh there we go vladimir brahm we did end up losing a couple of times in the deck but man this deck seems really 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 strong um you know i don't think that i should have lost that game you know if if i play tighter and just kind of understand the matchup more and understand the cards in their deck more you know now after seeing how that plays out i think if you know we just you know replay either like the exact same cards or just new cards. I think just that knowledge of playing that game, uh, really seeing how their deck plays out, I would, you know, I'd be much better equipped to play that matchup again. I think that that's a favorable matchup. If we can win that matchup, you know, we're looking at like a four and one. Really like that, that game four was just completely absurd with the Celestial cards in Targon. Um, yeah, just not even, <laughs> those cards are just on a different level than everything else. Um, but I was, but still, um, I wasn't sure exactly how this was going to look coming into the, coming into the video. I wasn't sure exactly how Brom Vladimir was going to do. I just know that, as I said at the beginning, whenever I've been playing against this Brom Vladimir Scargrounds deck, it has looked incredible. Um, since the update, since Crimson Bloodletter, this, uh, deck has really looked incredible. And playing these games, I have to say that I was really impressed with it. It still looked great. We honestly didn't have Scar Grounds that much. I think we had Scar Grounds in either two of the five or three of the five. I know for sure two games we didn't have Scar Grounds. Um, so, uh, so still being successful even without um, having Scar Grounds all the time. That uh, definitely is good. Um, but yeah, it, it was it went really well. The deck was very good. All right, but anyway, that's, that's all I got. So <laughs> there we go. That's Vladimir Braum. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. I'd appreciate it. But that's it for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.